Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use GoSeq to do some simple break-even analysis. So GoSeq is one of those uh, nifty calculation tools that will help you do some simple what-if analysis in Excel. So say for example, we are selling something and we have a price per unit, let's say we have a price per unit of uh, 50 cents, right? And let's say uh, 50 cents, we have a total revenue that's going to be how much we sell. So I'm going to just create a formula here. I'm going to go equals uh, 50 cents times a quantity here. I'm just going to select this cell for quantity. So whatever it multiplies uh, by that quantity will be my total revenue, right? So basically I have zero sold. Zero times 50 cents, of course, is zero. Now, well, let's say we have fixed costs. Uh, we have, we're, we're making some kind of widget for 50 cents, but we have to uh, invest in some equipment. And let's say the equipment costs $400. And then the cost per unit is going to be 35 cents. Let's say we're going to sell, it's going to take us 35 cents to make uh, these particular unit, one unit, right? So our total cost is going to be equal to uh, the $400 uh, plus, and I'm going to put the 35 cents in parentheses because we're going to have this 35 cents times how many, how many units that we make, right? So right now we're making zero units. It's going to cost us $400 because we have sunken in $400 for that cost. So the profit's going to be basically our, it's going to be equal to our uh, total revenue minus the total cost. So right now, since we're making zero units, our profit is going to be $400. So at what point, how many units do we have to sell to make a uh, profit of $0? Basically, what will we break even? So if I use the Go Seek feature, it can tell us. So what I can do is I can go under data, the data tab here, go under the data tools, go under what if analysis and select go seek. And basically go seek just takes uh, three uh, arguments or three parameters. What do I want to set? Which cell do I want to set? I want to set this cell, right? I want to set it to zero so, because that's going to be my break even analysis. And what do I want to change? Well, I want to change this cell. How many us units do I have to sell in order for me to break even and have a, a zero, right? Or basically our total revenue uh, is equal to our total cost. Our total revenue uh, minus our total cost uh, is zero, right? So I'll go ahead and click OK. Uh, go seek is going to go through different gyrations and it's going to give us our value. And it given us, it's given our value as 2667. Basically, I'm going to have to sell uh, 2,667 units in order to break even. Now the nice thing about also about GoSeq, instead of just doing a break even, let's say I want to make a profit of X amount of dollars. I can go back into uh, that's I can go back into um, the what if analysis, go back to GoSeq, and what I, I can instead of saying zero dollars, I want to set this to maybe maybe a thousand dollars, right? How many units do I have to sell to, in order to make a thousand? Oh, well, let's let's be a little, a little more conservative. How many units do I have to sell? To make $100, so I'm going to change this cell here, and click OK. And in order for me to make $100, I'm going to have to uh, sell $3,333. So there's a short example of how to use GoSeq to do some break-even analysis. So in addition to doing break-even analysis where it's going to be at zero, you can also use GoSeq to seek out a go, right? So what kind of units? Uh, how many units do we have to sell here in order to make $100? So there's your brief example of how to use GoSeq to do break-even analysis. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.